Welcome back. We're on day four and the home stretch of our campaign. We're very pleased with the results and thank you for all of you supporters that have gotten us to the point that we're at. We've had a lot of questions on the quad and that's what this update's about. The main reason that we didn't include the quad in our campaign is primarily because of the challenges associated with installation and control using standard 3D printers. We knew that there would be additional challenges associated with the installation and then just controlling four different extruders because the majority of the control boards that are on the market today simply don't support four extruders. So what we're doing is we're bringing back the quad and we're bringing back is the HPX4 Max with initially 10 units available. And the reason that we're calling it a beta is primarily because of those challenges associated with the installation and adaptability. The technology driving the HPX4 is proven. It's been through the, the gamut as part of our HPX2 Max testing. So we're very comfortable with the performance. The primary concern is going to be associated with the installation. So this beta is for the advanced technical user. And we've got a few photos here that show a couple of the possible orientations for the head. The first is a side-by-side -side setup where you essentially have four extruders in a row. And the second photo is where the extruders are set up face-to-face. -face. So you essentially have a cube of four extruders. The other key component for the quad is the hot ends. We have developed our own hot ends, which are active cooled and they are more compact than some of the competitive units on the market. And that allows us to have the quad set up in both the orientations that we just showed you. So that is the HPX4 Max. And stay tuned for more updates. We've got a lot of fun things planned in the last four days. Thanks a bunch and see you soon.